Hey traders, Raggy here. And over the last couple of days, I've received a lot of emails and requests to cover bonds again. Now, you might recall we've been long bonds for some time. I mean, this dates back to a one, two, three setup that broke back in April of this year, and then an uptrend that began by late June of this year, and then a uh, uptrend defined by the JT Multi by July. So, uh, you know, whether you're using the grab candles, which was the first signal for the uptrend plus the propulsion dots, or whether you're using the JT Multi uh, down in here, uh, this has been an ongoing long trade. All right, so what now? Because if you take a look at the JT Multi down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that we've lost the trend. We had a very brief time that the trend was intact again, but we've lost the trend. Does this mean it's a short? No, it doesn't. Uh, the top row of the JT Multi is more sentiment and momentum as it's looking at the 8, 13, and 21 EMAs. The bottom row, which is the trend, is looking at the 34. And it's that bottom row being yellow uh, telling me that we're just basically stuck in that range. And because the trend that preceded the chop was up, right, we had this uptrend in here, then that means that I'll still be looking and favoring the long side of the market. Okay, so what's define the trend? We talked about the grab candles and propulsion and the JT multi. Um, well, here I have the Darvis. I have Darvis resistance in here, and I have Darvis support down in here. And this is all automated by the Darvis um, indicator running on this chart. And so then what I know is if this is automatically giving me support and resistance and we're very near the support right in here, you can see that there's our two lows for the Darvis confirming that low there. I know that there's a higher likelihood for a potential move to the upside off that Darvis defined floor. And then I'm going to add one more look at support. Now this is price based, right? And by the way, this is price based too. If you're talking about exponential moving averages or price patterns, where we're looking at looking at price. This is where we shift to looking at volume. And the volume look of the V score is telling me that yes, we are clearly above the mean, which is the white line cutting these, cutting through. That's the white, that's the mean. And then I know that we've bounced off the mean here, or very close to. And then more recently, more recently, we've actually had a low right in here. I'm just going to pull that straight across. You'll notice that's where we are right now, right in here. So I'm looking for this market to bounce in this area. So I have price confirmation. I now have volume confirmation. And I know that we're still in chop, but with a bullish bias. And that's how you put these indicators together. Right, this is the setup where I'm looking for the long in bonds. And I'm not looking for a longer term uptrend. All I'm looking for is perhaps bonds to move up to this area of resistance, perhaps this area of resistance. Really, I'm looking for the same targets we had the last time we got long bonds, which was back in here, which is 165, 166, you know, move to a break even stop and then see if bonds can really make a run for truly higher highs. So that's, that's the look I have on bonds. And as we are basically ratcheting down wide range, slightly less wide range, I mean, I'm looking for that, just this market to run out of room and just move to the upside. In this case, we have this great oversold support level in here. All right, so that's what I'm looking for in bonds. Hope that helps. Uh, check out the workspace bundle. We have two days of live trading coming up on September 10th and on September 13th. All right, looking forward to that. We'll be together for about two, two and a half hours each day. Uh, I'll be walking y'all through end of day use of the indicators and setups on the 10th, and we'll talk about day trading on the 13th. All right, so it's over at uh, simplertrading.com forward slash Raggy hyphen workspace be good if I could spell that right right workspace uh, hyphen uh, bundle okay 
All right, there you go. I'll see you all in the next update. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.